In today's video, I competed in my first exhibition event and my first ever challenger tournament, the Koblenz Open. Now this was an event called Influencers vs Pros, where four influencers, which were Jules Marie, Antonia Lotner, Micah from Tennis Zone's Instagram, and myself, competed against four ATP pros, Dennis Novak, Brandon Nakashima, Oscar Otter, and Stefano Travaglia, some of which you may know. The format was gonna be each player teams up against an ATP pro to play against them in a tiebreak for a certain amount of points, ranging from the first tiebreak being one, the second two, the third three, and the final tiebreak was four. So we stacked the order with me at number three, Jules Marie at number four to give ourselves the highest chances of winning the most points possible. With Micah and Antonia opening up the event and losing the first two tiebreaks in a close battle against Nakashima and Otter, it was my turn to play a tiebreak 10, and I decided to play against Stefano Travaglia, former world number 60 and current world number 189. He's made it to the final of an ATP 250 event a few years ago, and he's made over $2 million in prize money. So it's fair to say I was pretty nervous. Stefano, Stefano, are you ready to rumble? Ready, ready. You're going to show these guys how, how it really works, right? Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. So of course, going to this tiebreak, I knew it wasn't going to be easy. I was actually much more nervous than I was when I actually played in the main draw match. Just the fact of there being a team to rely on me. You can see me starting off with a shank. Not the ideal start. Uh, nerves were definitely high. Of course, I knew I was up against a very strong opponent. You never really know how hard he's playing or how easily he's going to take it because obviously he doesn't know my level. You know, the rankings and stuff aren't kind of displayed before the match. But I just knew let's try and move him around with the forehand. Let's try and be aggressive, trying to, to play around as much as possible. You want to put on a show for the people. At this point, I said to myself, I'm just going to slice as long as humanly possible. Let's try and create the longest point. I was hoping that he would eventually kind of come to the net. I think I do shout come to the net or something during this point. Um, but he didn't seem to, to hear that. him then resorting back to the top spin, me getting the angle and him just putting it in a difficult spot for me. A 40 shot rally, definitely putting on a show, disappointed I wasn't able to finish it. So here at three love, huge serve into his backhand, trying to use my forehand as much as possible to be aggressive. Going with the inside in and getting my first point on the board, that felt good, got the pump out as well. Really wanted to uh, show that I was on the court and present. Great serve into the body there, just not doing enough on the volley. Again, the nerves just really affecting me. However, now down 5-1, it wasn't a great start. I definitely want to try and redeem myself here. Getting a cheap unforced error, forcing us to a 5-2 situation where, again, hitting a really solid serve, I begin to build a bit of momentum here. Good serve here at 5-3, really looking to try and put some pressure on him, but he comes forwards, really puts the pressure back on me. And at 6-3 here, this is a huge opportunity to try and find a mini break because otherwise he's going to run away with this match here. Again, resorting to that slice, that kind of forehand angle getting him off the court and he just misses that ball wide. A very close call there. Let me know down in the comments what you think about that. But I definitely needed it. And at 6-4 here, I absolutely slapped this return down to his backhand. I said, look, let's just go for it. Give everything I've got here on a point like this. And that felt so good, hitting it so clean. And... Uh, I was happy that I got that reaction from him as well. And again, serving to the body here, looking to be aggressive, coming forwards, and him hitting probably one of the best shots I've ever seen. Look, dink, backhand cross. That's insane. Again, being aggressive with that forehand, coming forward to the net and just missing that volley. Being a little bit too eager, I think, was just not the play. And him coming in with a Gael Monfils-esque smash here to close out this point to go 9-5 up. And a match point on his serve, he goes big serve up the tee, I make the return, he goes back and cross and I can't quite get there, and so unfortunately I end up losing this match. And so, unfortunately, I lost the match, but all was not lost, and it was now down to a decider to see who won the event. The format was each person hits a shot and then rotates like table tennis, first to 10 points, and let's just say I wanted to redeem myself.
it's so good. So Team Influencers wins the event 7-6 in the overall rankings, and we were buzzing. I was a bit nervous this is my rank, so I wanted to make up for it on the team. Just absolutely crunched the small round, got nothing to lose against these guys, and everything went in, so... And so that concluded a great night of tennis. Here we are, champions with the victory cake. It was a really fun event. Thank you to Lars and the Code Bets Over for making it happen. I even got to meet a few of you guys. Make sure to check out our latest video and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.